Hey everyone, it's Nancy and today is a very impromptu video because I'm going to be showing you the things in our 1000 subscriber giveaway box. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Nancy Ann. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. And either way, I want to thank you for being here. Today is a very, very impromptu um, video, and it's not likely going to go out on a regular Tuesday or Thursday release day because I'm going to go ahead and run over the items that are in the box I've been accumulating for when we reach 1,000 subscribers. As I record this, we're not quite there yet. We're at 992, but I'm getting it now because I don't know if when we hit 1,000, and I know we're good and solid on 1,000 because sometimes you can slide up and down a little bit before YouTube finally decides you're really there and you can be monetized. Um, but anyway, I'm doing it a little bit early because um, I've got a sewing project going on back there. That's my studio slash sewing room slash office and I need to get into that. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be knee deep in it when I really need to concentrate on the project when we do hit a thousand subscribers. So I'm gonna get this done now. It's probably a little bit early. There could be one or two things added to this box as, uh, as if more time goes on. Uh, I have a drape fit coming in and sometimes something gets tossed in there from drape fit. So anyway, um, in case you're wondering where we are in the house, I know I often wonder, well, where are they now when I'm watching the video and it's somewhere different and it's not apparent. So like I said, I'm in the basement. We have a walkout basement. There's a big window right there. One of these days, I am going to do a kind of a tour of the basement and my space. One of my viewers asked me, I paid attention. Thank you. We'll have to squeeze that in somewhere. Um, but so the entrance to the basement's over here from the house. There's stairs that go down. The walk, the walk out and the window are there. My husband's office is right here in the open space. He has a big office area uh, to my right, military right. My office has the door that closes behind it so I can record. And behind me, you'll see, this is my husband's kitchen. <laughs> Um, he's got, you know, microwave and mini fridge, that kind of thing. So when he's down here, he can kind of fly solo. There is a full bath right there. There's a door. You might be able to see it semi open by that red cart. That's a utility room. And immediately to my left in the open area is my gym. And you're going to see recordings, um, later on in the month in the gym because of the sewing project. And it, right in front of me, I'm sitting in what we call the music area. My husband, uh, dabbles in guitar and different types of, um, uh, uh, keyboards and things. He's, he's actually a pretty good musician. I just sing, but we are kind of a musical family. Okay. So that's where we are in relation to the house in case you care. Uh, now, would you like to get into the items that are in this box? So this is going to be in our giveaway. And these are things that I have been accumulating for several months now. I just got a large priority mailbox. It's going to be brimmed. It's going to be filled to the brim and I am going to send it to one subscriber and by the end of this I will think of a word that you can use in the drop down and I'm going to use a random comment picker to pick one person um, to give this away to. So if you're seeing this video we've reached a thousand I'm ready to do the giveaway. I do need for you to be a U.S. resident. I need to be able to mail this to a U.S. address because this is a U.S. <laughs> priority mailbox. Um, and if it's not, then I'm going to have to, you know, use the comment picker again and pick somebody until somebody qualifies. I also want to make sure uh, that the person is over 18. There's nothing in here I'm concerned about, but I just want it to go to um, go to someone, you know, who's who's of age, just in case, just to cover myself. I make nothing off of this. These are things that either I've been given uh, to review or I've paid for with my own money in the boxes. I think that about covers everything. If I think of anything else in the meantime, I will let you know. There, there's some very small sample size things in here, and there's some bigger things in here too. And there's a couple of things in here that are fairly, fairly valuable. So I think you might get a kick out of it. All right, in this Walmart beauty box, and it may not stay in this Walmart beauty box, but I've just got it in here right now to keep these little things from rolling around in there. I have 
there's a razor, there's a, a, since a, a toothpaste sample. I know, real valuable, huh? Uh, some of these did come from Walmart Beauty. These did. There is um, a coconut shea something. Let me, sorry, grabbed. I often put my glasses here, so I find myself grabbing my microphone when it's on. Make sure my mic's going. Uh, coconut shea leave-in conditioner. There is a Starlight Sky from Find Your Happy Place sand sanitizer, and there is a liquid lipstick sample. So those are in there. Um, I don't know if those all came from Walmart beauty boxes. They may have. Then I've got a set. Um, this came from Pink Sugar. Uh, that might be coming up, and it might have already played, depending on when we hit 1,000 and when this goes out. But um, this is by Wild Magic, and I have both the facial cleanser, uh, open water facial cleanser, and which has uh, kelp and burdock and a ginseng and green tea, green tea earth mist facial toner. So both of those are going to be in here. And then I have a sample of Suave Up the Volume shampoo and conditioner I'm going to throw in there too. That also came, did you see that? Sorry. That also came with the, a Walmart beauty box. And you might remember some of these from past unboxings. If you've been following me, you probably will. For various reasons, I either felt like I couldn't use these or they didn't suit me. I'm alert. Uh, I'm not allergic to, I don't like the smell of lavender. If it has a smell of lavender, it'll be in here. If it has anything with nuts in it, uh, you'll see. Okay, these little earrings, these came in the pink sugar. I might be giving you a spoiler, like I said, depending on when this comes out. Uh, those little earrings are included. Not my style. We've got a set of 10 postcards that have all sorts of affirming words on them. We've got this. Do you guys remember when I did the hair extension video with Goo Goo Hair Extensions? I have not used it, I promise. We've got the scrunchie and the eyelash, eyelash extensions that came with that. It's going in there. We've got a little card that came in a Margo Alina, and it says, um, Chicks Night Out with the envelope on it. So I think that's a handmade card. Let me see. Let's go with the heaviest thing on top. We got two of them. What is this? Let me get this out of the bubble wrap. These are going to be from Margo Alina also, and I did not keep them. Whoops, because I did not care for the fragrance. They were little kind of heady and rich for me. It looks like this is a spray. Yeah, this is a spray perfume, but it's a, by Tokyo Milk, Sonora Bloom. It's a nice fragrance. It just smells a little bit musky to me, and that's not, and also my skin, it kind of turns. Um, different fragrances can turn, so I'll wear them, and then they like really change. Does anybody else have skin like that? You have to wear a perfume for a little bit before you actually purchase it because you want to make sure it's going to actually smell as good five minutes later as it did when you put it on. That's me. And then this is the Tokyo Milk uh, Honey and the Moon Perfume Cream. So again, this is going to be a Tokyo Milk fragrance. Um, I don't think it's, yeah, this is still sealed and I'm going to leave it that way. I didn't want to open it for anyone. And if I remember correctly, it's, if it's honey and almond, I didn't open it because I'm allergic to tree nuts. We've got a little necklace, a little purple. It's faux jewelry, but it's kind of cute. It's like a purple layered necklace. Let me get it. There we go. From, that I got from a, can you, well, I'm just going to take it out. I got this from a drape fit. Yeah, the brand Sorry about that. The brand is Avant. There it is. It's purple. It's layered. I'm just checking my, my viewfinder to make sure you can see. I'll put that back together later. Got that little necklace. The, uh, the price on that was $20. That one's kind of special. I'll save it till the end. This is just a sample of Revitalift. Uh, derm Insensitives. It's for visibly plump skin and reduces wrinkles. Include that little sample. Here we have 
the Lola Elegance White Amber and Mirabelle. It is a lotion, and I think there was something I was allergic to in this one. It's in a tube. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and this also was from Margo Elena. Sorry. Goggle Eyes Shea Butter Hand Cream. And I think it did have um, macadamia nut, if I remember correctly. But there was a reason I couldn't use this. So on the unboxing, I felt so bad when I did the unboxing because I couldn't even take it out and, and sample it for you guys. I was just afraid it was going to make me nauseous if I even smelled it. So this has never been used there. Look at the packaging. Isn't that beautiful? It's just stunning. Lolly. It's their uh, Lolly Align. So that one will be in there. I think this had like a $26 or $28 value, if I remember correctly. Oh, a little piece of tape. Very valuable. Then here is the scarf that came from a drape fit. This is a very large scarf. It's striped. Um, I've got Sips by. These are reusable tea bags that you put loose, loose tea in and then pour your hot water. And then a sample of minty mojova, <laughs> mojito ah, mate tea. I probably would have enjoyed this, but I thought it would be a fun thing to put in the giveaway for someone. Now we've got a couple of candles. We're getting down close to the end. This is, I love candles. I don't burn them. So this is going to be given away. The Lalia, again from Margot Elena, Wish Sugared uh, Pastille. This one smells so good. It really smells kind of sugary and kind of florally also. Just a beautiful little candle. So somebody, this will be coming in the giveaway too. It's a big giveaway, huh? I think there's, well, so far I think there's a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. And then this is another candle. This is the um, <laughs> glasses. <laughs> oh, I'm so optimistic about my eyesight. The cast of characters, cut greens, flowering lotus, and watercress. And it doesn't give a name. Oh, it's on the lid. Hello. The library of flowers, willow, and water luminary. This smells absolutely beautiful. I think my husband wishes I would burn more candles. So not only do I not think to burn them, but on the occasion that I do, I forget to blow them out. So they either become a fire hazard or they just burn down all the way and then it's, it's pointless. I'm gonna give it to somebody who actually enjoys candles. I even have, you know, the little wax melts that plug into the wall, they're small. I have those and I, keep, I forget, to, at least I can't burn the house down with those, but I have a few of them. I've gotten rid of most of them because I just don't use them, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into this one next. This one to me is kind of priceless. Now, I've shared with you that my husband is a stealth pilot. And we went to the, was it the 30, 35th stealth reunion in Vegas. And I talked about that, um, it was back in, back in April. I think, yeah, April, we've, we've traveled so much. And there they gave away some stealth gear and you only get these things at the stealth reunions. So guys, this is what I picked up for you. Let me see if I can take the. I haven't said anything until now. And only stealth pilots and their families that goes to these reunions, if I under, am understanding correctly, get these. So this is kind of cool. It is a travel mug and it has the stealth on it. Um, and it says the F-117 Stealth Fighter Program Team Nighthawk. The stealths are also called Nighthawks. By the way, if you want to look him up, just to verify, my husband's pilot handle was Sam Beanie, and he went by the great Sam Beanie, and he would joke around and say, I'm the great Sam Beanie, sometimes slightly above average. Incidentally, in this basement that I'm sitting in, in around his office area, we've got his career in pictures all the way around. You can see the bottom of it, but um, I'll, I'll, I might take the camera through one day. There's all sorts of awards, all of his degrees, he has four degrees, um, uh, 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 important things, plaques, pictures of the planes he's flown. It's the Sambini Museum down here. All right, and now probably not quite the most valuable, but from the same company, one of the most valuable items. This is the little jewelry box that came from Carativa. 
And this, if you are wanting to give someone a nice gift and you win this giveaway, a woman, you will have a nice gift. So here's the top of the, do you remember this? That's the ring light shining, I'm sorry. It's got the little flower in there. I think you could take it off and put your own flower arrangement in there if you wanted to. So there we go. That's what it looks like. It kind of wobbles a little, it's kind of cute. Let's see if the music still works. Yeah. So it's got, it's a music box. And it's got a space inside there to put a necklace and a ring. Ring goes right there. So the now, and I think this one, they value it at like 50. I can't remember how much it was purchased for, just the jewelry box. And now let's talk about the necklace and ring that you can either put here in here, or if I were you, I would keep it for myself. The, oh, there it is. Put that top on there when I'm done. Last item in the box. This is the Carativa jewelry. I've done two jewelry reviews. I've done Carativa and I've done Read Your Heart, and they're both fabulous pieces. I ordered this jewelry, the pieces that are in here, because I thought it would be appealing to my viewers. And I wanted to, to appeal to you uh, because I wanted to do the, custom, the company justice. So this is the whole set that I showed you guys. This is all of it. So it's got the presentation box. So it's great for a giveaway. I'll set it there. Both pieces of jewelry. It's got the little velvet bag with the name Carativa. It's got the, um, there is a little uh, card that you can fill out uh, to put in there. It's a little greeting card. It's got a certificate of authenticity, if I recall correctly, right here. Nope, sorry, that is a cleaning cloth. <laughs> but it's kind of cute. It's put in a real pretty little paper thing that says Carativa. Now we've got your uh, jewelry care and a thank you. No, I don't think there is. And then a gift box in there. All of this came with the care. So you can, a little piece of tissue paper down in there with your jewelry boxes, really nice way to give a gift. And now the pieces, I'll take them out. Just to, I haven't seen them in months. Oh, I've got them in, they will come to you in the little um, baggy in there because I don't want it to pop out of the ring box or out of the necklace box and get damaged while it's shipped. So I packaged it back up the exact same way that they sent it to me. And obviously I haven't opened this in months. There we go, that's the ring. It's really pretty. It's a, it's a round cut. I have terrible fingernails, guys. Hey, that reminds me, I've been meaning to ask you guys, and here it is, the elevation on it. So I have uh, kind of thin and weak nails. Um, they, they tend to, to break apart, you know, at the white part and then peel back, and sometimes they can go below the quick. I'd like to do something for my nails, but I've done, uh, you know, back in the days, the porcelain nails um, before and things like that. And it always winds up really damaging my nail bed underneath. Do you guys have any suggestions on what I could do to make my nails look nice and not ruin the, the nail itself? Anyway, that's the ring. Let me see if there's a price on this. I don't think there is. I know it, it's valued. This is a 925 silver. Um, and it says it's not returnable. This is a size 7. So I'm... Um, I'm smaller than a seven, but I ordered it a seven because I thought my viewers, it would fit a lot of you. And I could wear it on different fingers. I guess on that hand, I am a seven. So it's a seven. I don't know. Depending on your hand size, it might be pinky ring. It might, be, it might go on your index finger. If you're real small, maybe it'll fit your thumb. <laughs> so you got the ring. I know the value on the ring was over $100. So I'm usually pretty good with uh, numbers. I have seen so many numbers since starting this channel. <laughs> I give up. I'm not even going to try and remember these. And then the necklace, if I'm not mistaken, the necklace had a value that was even higher. So here it is. It's going to be in the necklace box. So you can put it in this if you like and give it to someone for a gift, a very nice gift. Again, the 925 silver. These are um, Swarovski, is that how you say it? Swarovski crystals. They're very nice. And I got it in this, let me open this without tearing the little bag it comes in. It's kind of a topaz looking necklace. 
There you go. Isn't that pretty? It was quite a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yep. So this one, I'm pretty sure this was worth more than the, the ring. It is, um, this is probably a good inch and a quarter, if not longer. Very, very long uh, pendant there. And again, 925 silver, which is the industry standard. It's 92.5% pure. And um, I don't think this one is nickel free. I don't believe, it could be, I don't recall. Uh, beautiful pieces, and I think these two together, the value is at least $250 if you were to purchase them on the site. Um, and maybe they had them on sale for like $85 a piece, but anyway. This is, not, this is not a cheap giveaway box, and I'm not saying that to pump myself up. I just want you to know, if you win this, you're getting something really special. Okay, so let's, let's think of a word that you can comment with down below and I will use my random comment picker. So here's the deal. I need for you to like the video. That's important. That really helps me in the algorithm and it helps my channel to grow. Um, I need for you to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, uh, I'm not going to, uh, I'm gonna make the comment picker so that it won't pick out people who aren't subscribed to my channel. Um, and then, um, and we're gonna think of a word down below. How about amazing giveaway? If you enter amazing giveaway, if you comment down below with those words, um, you will be entered to, uh, in the drawing to win everything in this box that will get sent to you and I'm just hoping I can close it because there's so much stuff. I wanna thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this. I'm sorry it took a while to do this, but it took a while to, I mean, there's quite a bit in here, right? It's going to take a while no matter what. Again, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all of my subscribers. I'm really excited to have reached a thousand. My husband is watching with bated breath every day to see how many. He's just like, oh, we're up to, <laughs> we're up to 990, we're up to 991. He's so excited. And we're just, we're just thrilled that we're finally gonna reach a thousand. We're gonna have an opportunity to become monetized. Hopefully more companies will start noticing me. They'll start offering to send me product to review for you guys. I really wanna get some subscription boxes sent to me. That's my favorite thing of all kinds and maybe clothing companies will also also offer to send me clothes so I can share more hauls with you and a lot of those are really great prices I'm just excited about what there is to come up in the future and I would not be here if it weren't for my viewers this would be nothing if it weren't for you guys you guys have made us what we are and I also have to give a good shout out to my husband because this channel would not have uh, <laughs> survived without his editing skills <laughs> I'd have given up. I'd have been so frustrated with the editing. And with that, we're going to close. Good luck in the drawing. Thank you so much for watching again, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, and be blessed. Oh, you think we have got a bark box. No, we don't have a bark box. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's licking his lips. He's licking his lips. We don't have one. Do you want to be part of the one that I do with Daddy later on? We could do that too. We don't. It's not a bark box. I promise. I'm sorry, buddy. I got. I got to get him a treat.